welcome back to Dark Souls. Wait a minute. Crap. Ah! <laughs> okay, Bloodborne! Bloodborne! That's what this is. Not Dark Souls. I just got so caught up in... It is made by oh. all the same people, and okay. it does all of the same things. All right. You know how many times I've called the Blood Echoes Souls? Okay, I am extremely embarrassed. Okay, we are going to go here and... Well, Let's... but... What? Upgrade your sword. I don't like the sword, though. Well, I like the sword. <laughs> Fine. Fine, I will go and we'll upgrade this lame well, sword. Well, I mean, if you have enough. Because last probably time you didn't. do. Yeah, I do. Fine, I'll do it. Yes! And... Uh, you know what? Since I leveled it up, I will try out the fire damage on this. Try out the fire damage. And then the sword will just have to carry the physical damage. Too bad there's no fire coming off of it when I swing it around. Okay, Cathedral Ward. I hope the sword is still terrible, that way I don't have to use it. I like it. You just like it because it's a big sword that turns into an even bigger sword. Yeah, well, it's not what I like. Come on. Why don't you like the saw cleaver? It's a saw that turns into a cleaver. Because swords are pointy and fun. And you can go poke, poke, poke. Look at this. It's covered in points. Okay. I'm gonna go smack the guy outside and see what he does. <clears throat> he didn't immediately notice you. Well, why, why not? Okay. But he, he is on fire. Yeah. So they do flare onto fire, but they don't quite... That didn't seem like it did more damage. In fact, I think that did less damage. What? What was that? That's them being big stabby jerks. Wait, what stones do I have? on this. Okay, fire attack up, and then continue to recover. So as long as I hold on to this, I have a generating health. And then... <clears throat> Too bad I can't kill people with it as efficiently. See? These guys are right back to taking three hits. Watch out for the big guy. Yeah, yeah, I'm. I that was not made a good idea. some bad decisions. I made some bad decisions. Okay, just run back up and around. You know, I have more than one blood gem that increases healing. Okay, no, he's... He's coming for me. I've got more than one blood gem that increases healing. If I put on both of them... I'd have two healing. Okay, well, they're not paying attention, so you can just go up the stairs now. That guy's broken. Oh, let's get out of here. No, that really was a bad decision. That was an extremely bad decision. I'm just continually thrown off by this one not doing as much damage as I expected to. 
Maybe the fire was a bad idea then. Yeah, it probably was, but... Hey guys, how you doing? Ouch. So the sword that I don't like does a, an acceptable amount of damage. It's not even that I don't like it, it's just that without the ability to block, it just feels wrong. Oh, and Frenzy instantly kills you. Okay. Okay, so. What we're going to do is we're going to do everything that we just did, but without ever trying to use Sock Cleaver, since it is essentially ruined now. You can always take it off. I will use the sword. You like the sword. I'll make the sword as big and heavy and awkward as possible, and we'll see if this helps me kill things. Creep around. Oh, he's seen you. Bagman. Bagman saw you. He's gonna kill you. Oh, and he missed. Why did you see you this time of all times? That is what we in the business call an excellent question. Yeah, because I've been running up and down, up and down here, up and down, up and down here. And, yeah, this is the time he decides to notice. Let's see. That's the amount of damage I want my swords to do. And did you notice that this is actually heavy enough to stagger them? The saw cleaver didn't. This one, however, I can smack people with it. They fall right over. And I will see if I can avoid... No. Can't avoid these guys. Oh, and this time the giant happens to notice. Like, everything is going wrong. He can't follow you, so... Oh, he can't, can he? Or he can! <laughs> you just, like, get out of the way. How can he even follow you? What well, I said... But, like, just run away, no, like, just, just run away and he'll reset. If I go up the stairs, however, there's a guy that's gonna shoot me. So, you have to deal with one or the other. Hey, but I got three blood vials, so I think I actually came out ahead on that. And just to make sure that he doesn't follow me. Hello. And it's not worth picking that up because you know what it is. More Quicksilver bullets. Look 
at my frenzy. It's going way up. Oh, because I'm wearing different clothes than I was last time. Do you want to resituate those? Oh, we put on my other clothes? Yeah. Yeah, just as soon. Cool. Put on a bunch of clothes, maximize my defense. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I, I, I like this, the colonial outfit. You are in charge of helping me remember what was in it. So, maximized physical defense. Well, it's basically just that hat and the church cloak. Well, it should be easy to remember then. Yeah, black garb. Hunter garb. Okay. This is what maximized everything looks like. So, yeah, I, I want my health to keep on regenerating. We can't really just stand there. Fine. One more leg stab, and we're ready for business. This is the moment we've been putting off. And it's a... More break. stairs! Oh, wow, that is one thick door. All that drama and he can't even bring itself to open it up all the way. It's a heavy door. Oh, look, those are the... Um... Okay, I'm not sure what they are, but they're squid-faced. Okay, this is either a place where there's a good guy or a bad this guy. This is a boss fight. You are 100% correct. It's a tiny lady. Unless this is just a person who's going to summon a giant one. Or maybe it's just a small person. No. Okay, so she just put on some magic thing and... And now she's a monster. She's a bird lady. But hey, we were right. About what? The church being up to no good? This being a boss. Ew. She's a dog bird. Where'd you get bird? Well, the feet. They're like... Oh, yeah. Vicar Amelia. Smack. Smack. Yeah, I, I thought she was posing. I mean, not posing, but... Yeah. You know. In spite of her largeness and intimid... Oh, it's a shockwave. That's what it is. 
not working out well for you. Yeah. No, it's working out very miserably. Oh, you know why it probably is. Mm -hmm. I kept on using the saw cleaver. It seemed like it was working. Oh, well, yeah, but you remember it worked on the big guys as well in spite of seemingly doing 20% less damage and you just had to hit them one or two more times. But on her, that little bit of extra damage might be translating to, you know, you need to hit her 20 more times. But then, I'm not sure that I'd want to fight something so fast with this sword. I don't think you do. Okay, so I should just give it a second go? Well, I guess. Can't hurt, right? Ah, uh, there I go again. just kind of hope that everybody else passes by. Shooting cotton balls at me. See, why can't she be that slow? Oh, and they follow you. And nobody has the decency to drop any blood vials. And I could try and kill him. but then that happens. Yeah, but if he drops like four, or if he drops none, that's, that is also an acceptable outcome. the swords in its big form, it's in both hands. I was gonna try shooting him. See. Doesn't drop anything. Okay, so... Moment of truth. Flaming saw cleaver. Or this one. Probably not the big one. So, saw cleaver or... Well... Well, I can always... I can always science at it. Saw cleaver is faster. Saw cleaver is faster. Yeah. And if this works out badly a second time, which I have every reason to believe it will, I can always try taking off the fire and summoning Henrietta. 
Was that who it was? Hen Henriette. Henriette, yes. Watch out for that pound attack too. The shockwave one. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to dodge underneath her. Yeah, that one. There you go. Quickly gonna run out though, so. Oh, uh, of the vials? Yes. Yeah. Like, I can't see this going. Not unless she suddenly falls over. The problem is all the hair. It'd be a lot easier to tell where she was going if it weren't for that. Oh, oh. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go to her face. There we go. Right in the face. Ooh, that was a lot of damage, too. What is that? Oh, she's glowing. Why is she glowing? Oh! She fell over again. If I if I'd had a little bit more presence of mind, could have gone for her face. There you go, yeah. Okay. So the answer... Was, was having zero more blood vials. <laughs> yeah. And I should get something just for clearing it with that gold pendant. Okay, well I saw what the gold pendant did to her. So I am not about to put it on. Unless, however, it makes me do more damage. And then I'm going to be putting it on. Use to gain a blood gem. Words that will open the gates of Bergenor. So this, in other words, is going to get me something. I'm surprised I didn't beat her the first time, then. Yeah. I think the first time I might have just gotten unlucky. Uh, it's a giant skull. That looks like one of the Mad Men knowledge pictures. except with a little bit more monkey dimension to it. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You'll think now to betray me. No, but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood, made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave.
Have we met a Master Willem? No. Maybe you shouldn't have touched that. Yeah, that doesn't look like the kind of thing that's like good maybe for you touching. you shouldn't go around just touching random skulls that are glowing. Okay, so where do I go next? Uh, back to through the lantern, I guess. And we'll see if they've got anything to say. Because, oh... I should switch out the fire. Yeah. Like, it's nice that you hit people and they burst into flames, but... Okay, fire, you are coming off as fast as I can take you off. Not because I didn't like you, but because I don't trust you. Hey, maybe I can make this sword full of fire. Then I'd have a reason not to use it. Oh, come on. Can I buy anything new at the Insight Store? I can. Fire paper. Bolt paper. Okay, I can't buy much, but I can buy more stuff. The old man's lack of existence continues to be slightly concerning. So where do you even go next? Because I think we exhausted all of the options. Yeah, there's, there's that place that wanted a password, and there's that place that... And there's a few, like, random locked doors. And this is still shut, of course. Oh, you could level up. Yeah. That's what I'll do. Well, what is it? Very well. Let me... Go. And I am about a thousand short of being able to level up a second time. But do you have... I do. I do. Welcome home. What is it? Very well. Let me... I want to put it into... That will help me break 900, so... I think I'll do that. And after that, I might want to put some into Endurance. Yeah. Endurance and skill up to 20. That's a good goal. Farewell, good hunter. May... Oh, no, I need to... I need to talk to you, see if you have any other dialogue. Hunters have about the gods and their love, but do the gods love their creation? I am a doll, create. Would you ever think to love me? Of course, I do love you. Isn't that how you've made me? That's a little bit weird. Yeah, that seems kind of sad, though. It does. I, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick the pistol back on. At least temporarily. Shotgun just feels not powerful enough. I like them. They're so cute. So, are you just going to go back to the lantern in that place? Or? Uh, I'm going to go back to the cathedral. The grand cathedral? The cathedral ward. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to the guy that owns it. Oh, well, not the guy that owns it. The... Red, covered critter. That guy.
because there's not really that many other friendly NPCs that I can talk to and say, hey, where should I go next? And actually, there were there were a few dead ends. Oh, God, another one. Nine times. Made it. This place is a real part, uh, I'm afraid, right? A peak to be heard. I doubt there's a God's. <laughs> Wait, who's the other one I sent to you? I don't think you did. Unless somebody else no, went only here one on of their them. own. Only one of them. Oh, or his dialogue changed because we've run out of people to send. Oh. Because if I remember correctly... Okay. There's a what? Where's the church people? Oops. Unless they're gone because we defeated... Vicar Amelia. Oh, wait a minute. Look at the sky. It's not orange oh. anymore. Oh, don't open the gate. Okay, but where... Yeah, th this is not the same. Look up. Wow, <laughs> that is one bright light. The moon is farther up in the sky. I think the other one was the sun. Okay, well, it's different. Something, something has changed in the sky. The light bulb. See, there should be... Okay, Flamethrower Man is still here. Well, he still sucks, so, like, don't touch him. Right, but... There was... There were two dead ends. Two dead ends. One of them was... That place we need the password, and the other one... And the other one was... Why Just don't you use door. that locket? Oh yeah, what what does the locket do? Because I know I looked at it and I know I saw the description. It says something about a password. Does it? Well, when you click on it. Words that will open the gates of Bergenworth. That that's that is the guy that asked that asked for the password. So where is he? Was he was he down this path or through the path in the courtyard? I think that was through the courtyard. All right, courtyard it is. I think I d I don't remember. Oh. oh, they're sleepy. They're so cute. Oh, they wake up. Remember, you have no blood vials. That's actually the reason why I'm attacking them instead of leaving them okay. alone. Because I remember them dropping. Okay, so, so you believe that it is like night now, as opposed to just sundown. That didn't end well. It would seem especially dark, yes. Not even that it's dark, but... So I wonder what that means for the regular villagers. Oh, an octopus face. There he is. Wait, was it down here? It wasn't down this path, was it? Because this leads through all of the alleyways. With all those doors. Yeah. No, I think... No. It might be the other one. I, I thought that it was through here. There were two paths. One that dropped down. And one that wrapped around. See. Oh, and is this... Nope, that's a guy I can talk to. It's Alfred! Oh, good to see you safe. Now, let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. Okay, we've already done these two, right? So, uh, yes. Ah, there's something I want to tell you. A bit of wisdom from the eminent master, Lugarius. Once, a scholar betrayed his fellows at Bergenworth and brought forbidden blood back with him to Canehurst Castle. It was there 
that the first of the inhuman vile bloods was born. The vile bloods are fiendish creatures who threaten the purity of the church's blood healing. The ruler of the vile bloods is still alive today. And so, to honor my master's wishes, I search for the path to Canehurst Castle. Bourbonworth is an and the two Okay, and all of these led in this set, but today, and furthermore, it's unclear, but only I bid you farewell. It has been a pleasure. May the Okay, so this is proof that this is the right way. Well, you would hope. I hope this is proof that it's the right way. Yeah. Okay, so that is the door. Yeah. Fear the old blood. Uh. Oh, he's already dead. That's perhaps the most ominous description on anything we've seen. Because who was talking to us? Uh, the dead guy. What does already dead mean? Okay, so this is definitely where you're supposed to go then. You beat Vicar Amelia, come down here. What does already dead mean? I was sure that there would be a guy on the other side who would, you know, welcome to... But is it not so obvious that there would just be some creepy dude? So creepy dead dude. Who okay. apparently can talk. He's just... Oh, look, we're in the woods. Okay, we're not in the woods yet, but we are definitely on our way to the woods. Ah. The Forbidden Woods. Not just any woods. Okay, Forbidden Woods. What do you have for me? A drop off where I will die? But look at that giant cross. It's a windmill, isn't it? Windmill is probably more likely than giant cross. After all, this isn't a cross type of village, and this is a chicken foot kind of village. Okay, so this area seems large and imposing. Well, good news is that you should have a lantern somewhere. I've got a tiny one with me. Well. There's people down there. Oh, look, they just look like regular villagers. Somewhat. They're going to end up killing you horrifically. That's the same thing that regular villagers do, so... Wouldn't be anything out of the ordinary. Ouch. He's throwing oil jars at you. Then he's gonna try and light you on fire. He'd better not. Yeah, these ones aren't pushovers. Okay, but... Pebble. I thought I saw... Is that looks that... like a lantern, yeah. That does look like a lamp. So I'm gonna go for it. There's a giant building, which I hope I can go into. So I'm going to head back up. See what's up the other branch before I go over the bridge. Is 
this place seems like it could very easily get disorienting. Because you saw, even walking back up the path that we had just come down, you can't quite make out if it's the direction that you had previously been. Ah, an executioner. My circling abilities are greater than your own. He had to have been protecting something. He is protecting the giant executioner. Adept blood gemstone and madman's knowledge. You know if you ate all of your madman's knowledge? I would have 23 more. So both of these are things that I could eat, and they would give me a blood gem. Right. Question is, would it be good? Well, what use is it serving you any other way? I just wonder if it's something where maybe it will give you... The quality of what it gives you is based on how long you wait. Blunt attack up 12.6%. That would be just fine for weapons that I'm not using. Oh, I want to stick a triangle in something. 4.2% and poison. Okay, I guess that's all there is up the path. Time to wind my way back on down and see if I can get inside of that broken down building. I do wonder what fear of the old blood means. Well, it means there's old blood and it's bad. Because they keep on going on about the blood healing as if it's something good. So it's possible that the old blood is something they're experimenting with that they really, really shouldn't be. Given that everybody in the church seems to be crazy and evil, I'd say it's likely. Except for Albert. Alfred. Alfred. I can't Alfred. keep all these out. Oh, look. A stump. But no stump messengers. Doesn't open from this side. Of course it doesn't. Which means you're probably going to have to go down and then there's going to be an elevator that leads back to the lamp. Your guessing abilities are very, very strong. I'd be willing to bet that your guessing abilities are also accurate. Oh, you see that? Once again, I need to be a slightly higher level. Interesting that these guys are wearing white instead of... Instead of black, like the ones from the actual city. So we'll go deeper into the woods in just a bit. The large open areas that we could see when we, were, when we first entered this area made me think that it was going to be enormous. But it looks like it's actually just a limited set of paths. Oh! I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> but it uh, got you anyways. It, it spike trapped me to death.
I, I don't think that was fair. Did you see any indication that there was a spike trap there? No. But now you know. Yeah, and I'm sure that when we go back, there's going to be this huge, obvious switch. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching, and I am going to retrieve my body and figure out how to outsmart that log. Next time. <laughs>